welcome back to Zero Waste TV. And if this is your first time joining, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make popcorn from kernels in two different ways. The paper bag method and the stovetop method. For both these recipes, we're going to be using bulk popcorn kernels that I bought for $1.79 per pound, or 11 cents per ounce. For the first method, all you'll need is a clean, reused paper bag, a microwave, and popcorn kernels. Pour one third cup of the popcorn into the paper bag and then fold the top of the paper bag about four to five times to make sure that it's sealed. Microwave on high for about two minutes, but stand close by so it doesn't burn. And when it slows down to about one to two seconds between pops, it's ready. And since no oil was used in this recipe, you can reuse that bag to make more popcorn. But I blew a hole in mine, so it has to go into the compost. Sorry, buddy. And the next method is the stovetop method, which is just as easy. You'll start by heating two tablespoons of olive oil over medium-high heat in a fairly large cooking pot. And then when the oil starts to shimmer, pop two or three or four kernels in there. And once they pop, then you're ready to pour in the rest of the popcorn. Now pour in one third cup of popcorn kernels, just like before, and cover them. Within a few seconds, they are going to start popping like crazy. And again, when it slows down to one to two seconds between pops, it's ready to go. Top your popcorn with whatever you want. Salt, oil, seasonings, nutritional yeast. The world's your oyster. Here is a super easy zero waste recipe to make some delicious crunchy and sweet popcorn balls. All you're gonna need are three additional ingredients, three tablespoons of coconut oil, one third cup of coconut sugar, or you can use brown sugar, and one third cup of maple syrup. Just combine all these ingredients into a small saucepan and heat them up over medium high heat. And just stir it for about one to two minutes until it's nice and combined. Now pour the sugar mixture over your popcorn and stir it gently to combine. If you want, sprinkle in about a half teaspoon of salt to help bring out the flavors. Don't worry, it's not gonna make it really salty. Now wait for the sugar mixture to cool a little bit, not only to make it easier to handle, but also so the popcorn sticks to each other. If it's too warm, it'll just fall apart in your hands. Roll the popcorn into nine or 10 fist-sized balls. <laughs> Why does that sound so wrong? Ball-sized fists? No, fist-sized balls. 
Roll your popcorn balls into the size of a popcorn ball. And if your hands are warming up the popcorn mixture a bit too much, they might start to fall apart again. <laughs> so if that happens, just let it cool down and then go back to it. And there you have it. Delicious popcorn balls that didn't require any plastic packaging and they were super easy to make. And this was all the waste that was created from today's recipes. And yay, nothing went to landfill or had to be recycled. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like below. Thanks so much, and we'll be back next week.